Folks in the house, how's everybody doing? I'm doing a video on Labor Day. And uh, hope everybody gets to enjoy the day if possible. And uh, yeah, it is just hot out. I hate it when you get up in the morning and you walk outside and you're like, yeah, this is already too hot. And you just know it's going to get hotter. Um, so take it easy, be the best you can. And uh, I haven't done a video in a while. Um, garden's wrapping up, kind of. See if cucumbers are coming or not. Uh, some flowers are on there, but uh, nothing growing. Seems like it's late. Um, parents have gotten some tomatoes uh, recently. Um, so garlic did not turn out this year. Um, there's a few cloves, but I don't even want They just don't seem to be, I don't know if I'm going to plant them or not. I probably am not because each year it's just gotten bad and I almost feel like I get a, I'll think about it. It's just something that, uh, not success that I was hoping. First couple of years, each year, it seems like the garlic's gotten smaller and uh, not growing. So um, that is that uh, for garden wise. Flower wise, uh, flowers did come up late. A uh, couple of the seed uh, produced uh, some daisies. Um, the geraniums I bought my folks, those took off in the beginning of August up until July. It was just a nothing. I thought they were going to die. And so that's what happened with them. Uh, Store-wise, um, went to Aldi Foods and... They're 99 cents uh, clearance. Um, this is aged cheddar and black pepper. And then I have uh, the aged garlic or smoked garlic uh, is another. They're selling these for 99 cents. And this one, the flavor, there's a little pepper flavor. That's about the cheese. Not, it isn't too strong or anything, but for 99 cents, they're not bad. There's something to nibble on. Uh, I'm not going to say, you know, I, I can see why they're, they're on clearance. There's a flavor there that uh, could be just a little more flavor to them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, as soon as I was walking by, it's like, give it a shot. And I may buy some more. I mean, they're good till December. Um, so something to store up. A cheap uh, snack. Uh, and to get chips for 99 cents. Um, ain't a bad deal. Um, they're nothing where you're like, oh, this is disgusting or something like that. So don't have to worry about that. Um, what else? Not much else going on. Uh, uh, this weekend, I should have done a video on it a little bit, but I got to work on it. I did shrimp on the grill and, uh, let's see if I remember this right. Uh, if you ever do shrimp on a grill, there's a simple recipe of garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, salt, and olive oil. And then I, I seasoned it, I thought I did, but I think it was that they were, I let them thaw out and there was still, I needed to damp them off. And I really didn't do that, so I think the water was still on there, so the seasoning didn't really take um so maybe next time i'll maybe do one uh, in the house um on the stove maybe do a kitchen one but not a bad uh recipe for again oregano uh, onion powder garlic powder salt and olive oil uh, so something if you're ever looking to make a dish for shrimp uh, there's your seasonings um Movie-wise, uh, I'm just going to go with call a few. A couple of them are Nicolas Cage, and they're on the lower tier. I don't have them as higher tier movies. Um, the Trust, uh, Nicolas Cage and Elijah Woods. Two uh, corrupt cops uh, decide to uh, steal uh, some gangster's monies, and uh, 
I don't know. The, it, there's some moments in the movie that are good. Uh, I liked Elijah Woods being a, a crooked cop, kind of. It's just something that was uh, kind of strange seeing that a little bit uh, in regards to his role. Um, he has second thoughts about it, and but uh, definitely uh, surprised me seeing him in that role. And uh, the next one, 211, uh, basically Nicolas Cage is a cop that takes a, a kid along for a ride uh, to kind of, you know, get him straightened out. He's been getting in trouble, so supposedly riding with the cops going to, you know, help him out while they end up coming across a bank robbery. And uh, things don't go too well. And um, if you're looking for an action movie, something that's like, I just want to watch a Nicolas Cage. Uh, either one is just average. Uh, I'm not going to say, yes, this is over the top. This is bad. Um, they're just there, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, next one, I guess I went with robberies because next one's called Blowback. This was... Uh, 2022 or 2023, I apologize, but a guy gets a gang together and they do a robbery and he more or less gets screwed and he seeks revenge. Um, this one, I I would put this above uh, the Nicolas Cage movies. Um, so, again, uh, more of a low budget, a low key movie. Um, but, uh, it has a story and uh, does the job. And then my last one, uh, Dennis Quaid, The Rookie. Uh, this is 2002. Uh, I decided to watch it. I haven't seen it for a while. And uh, basically a true story of baseball player Jim Morris, who uh, got uh, his, he was a chemistry teacher and his students um, made him try out. And uh, 35 years old, he uh, got to live out his dream. The way it sounds, he had, uh, when he, the brewer, Milwaukee Brewers signed him when he was uh, younger and uh, didn't work out. And it, he had to call it a career, had surgery, and uh, whatever the surgery improved his pitching. Um, but if you're looking for a true story uh, baseball that's entertaining, uh, the rookie uh, is uh, out there. So those are my movies, and I uh, hope everybody enjoys. I had uh, sweet rolls and uh, milk today, so. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching the videos. Um, kind of trying to do this as I am behind on movies, and I thought I'm trying not to go overboard on it, but uh, I'm going to have to get caught up a little bit, so maybe... Some of my videos are going to be a little uh, more movie talk just because it, it, trying to remember the movies, it's like, wow. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, that's, we'll leave it at that. Have a good one. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy.